Alright, what is up YouTube? I'm back filming another video finally. I know I've been off kind of the grind for a really long time. Sorry about that, but here we are. We're gonna film a couple's leg workout for you guys with the emphasis of posterior chain. So kind of that's the back side of your leg. The booty. So basically, yeah, your booty slash hamstring. So I have my girlfriend Kelm with me. Hi. She's gonna complete this tough workout. Damn, I did get a new lens, so this lens is extremely heavy and my arm is already ready to, ready to get a nice little bicep pump with this here but this workout is going to be pretty intense it's going to be a little bit over an hour so make sure you get just a little caffeine in you who it's picks midnight up. and he has me training right now yeah it's, so. it's really late right now Drink but up. it's the best time to film because there's no one here but anyway we're gonna jump into some pre-exhaust exercises. So pre-exhaust that booty so you get, so you kind of feel your glutes the whole workout. It's like three exercises, which we'll go over shortly. But anyway, we're gonna jump into those exercises right now. Bye. All right, so we're gonna pre-exhaust, like I said. So we're gonna do some hip abductors exhaust those glutes and this is going to be a drop set so you're going to do 10 reps drop set you drop set to lighter weight and do another 10 reps so it's two total sets so basically like four sets if you think about it All right, next up we got glue ham raise. At some gyms they don't have a glute ham raise machine, so we're just gonna use partners. So even if you do have that machine, you could always just use a partner. This same thing, two sets of 10, and you're not gonna do a drop set this with this one because it's just body weight. But we're gonna demonstrate this one for you guys. Next up we have a kettlebell squat. We're doing two sets of 10. Same thing, really focus on squeezing your booty when you go down. So you could also do this with bands, but we don't have any bands at this gym, so just do it like this. Gotta make sure the shorts are up. <laughs> First exercise, yeah, we didn't even start the workout yet. That was just the pre-exhaust. So first exercise, we have squats. You're gonna go four sets, you're going 12, 10, eight, six, and there's a super set. So you won't be able to go too heavy on this because you have a super set here. These are called deficit reverse lunges. This really targets the booty. So you're gonna get your weight. You don't wanna go too heavy on this. We're gonna have one foot up. And then you're gonna do Four sets, 10 to 12 reps. Okay, so next exercise, we're doing another super set. So we're gonna start off with hip thrust. We're gonna go three sets, three sets, eight to 10 reps. So on your round eight to 10, you should be failing, especially on your last set. And then increase the weight as you keep going. And then you want a super set with RDLs. And so I'll show you in my first set here. Now 
we're gonna superset with RDL, with the dumbbell. And same thing, nice, slow control on the way down. Nice, give it a nice three seconds. Make sure your back is in line with your spine. Slight arch is okay. On the hip thrust, a lot of people, they put all their weight on their heels, but you should spread the weight evenly and have it on your toes as well. So a lot of people, I'll show it with Kelton. So a lot of people just have their, like their toes pointing up. You won't be able to push the most optimal weight. Doing that, you wanna have a flat foot where your toes are touching the ground. You'll feel a lot stronger that way. A stronger muscle is ultimately a bigger muscle. So definitely wanna shoot for that technique. And then, we got one more thing. I'm feeling that. So your heart rate should be pretty high throughout this whole thing, especially through the supersets. You should be feeling in your legs, especially your glutes. You don't want to stand around. I'd say like a minute and two, minute two rest break in between each set. So yeah, you should be breathing pretty heavy. Same as your partner. <laughs> Otherwise, you guys aren't working hard enough. Okay, but next up we have leg curls for the hamstrings. And it's a variation between two. And then we have a quick finisher at the end just to get your cardio in. And it should take no longer than five minutes. And it's gonna annihilate your legs. But we'll get to that part soon, but I'll see ya. Now we're on to our last exercise before the finisher. We're gonna do three sets of time on the leg. Uh, the, what is this thing called? The seated leg curl. <laughs> And then we're gonna superset do another 10 reps on the leg extension. So back to back so you get a little quad, a little quad workout too, as well as the hamstring. This should annihilate your legs. You wanna go nice, slow, time controlled reps. The weight should be fairly heavy, nothing crazy. Nice, slow, come way up. Be squeezing the hell out of those heavy tricks. Okay, now we have the leg finisher. This is gonna be three to four rounds, depending on your level of expertise. If you're a beginner, I'd say you probably wanna do one to two rounds more expert level. I'd say four to five rounds. But well, the leg finisher is eight weighted jump squats. You're gonna take a dumbbell. I'll show you all these. The next thing you're gonna go 12 dumbbell front squat, and then you're gonna do a wall sit for as long as you can. So you're gonna do how many rounds? Like I said, if you're more of an expert, it's gonna be four to five, more towards intermediate. Maybe three to four beginner, one to two rounds. <laughs> and then to make this harder, you get a little plate and you want to hold this for no longer than a minute. If you can hold it for longer than a minute, just stop. Cause all these hoes know what's about to come 
All right, so that concludes the workout. We are done with this leg day. What do you think? I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm exhausted too. It's about like 2.30 in the morning, so we definitely gotta get out of here and get some sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Let me know down in the comments what you think or if you have any questions. But make sure you guys hit that like button and also that subscribe button because I'll be posting a lot more videos. I'm in Florida, so I'm excited. I got the drone, so you'll probably see some drone footage in here. I'll try to throw it in here. But anyway, have a good day, YouTube, and I'll catch you in my next video. I'll see you.